everyone and welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel welcome to you today we're doing the weekly reads and i'm going to be reading for the lovely Serge. so Serge, let's have a look what's coming in for you as we go into february what have we got going on for Serge? what energies are around Serge this week Serge, Serge, Serge. oh i feel that definitely wanted to come out for you Serge. well we've got the three of earth who i've just read for um cancer i've just read for cancer so if you've got cross watches or any cancer there in your chart it may be worth having a look at that so we've got the three of earth and that card to me as i was explaining in my previous reading to cancer it can take on two different aspects it's standing there waiting for something to come to you or you are standing there saying goodbye to something or other Okay, so depending on what comes out in the reading, let's have a look what's going on with you. Sadgy, sad, sad. Okay, and we had this card as well <laughs> in the Cancer reading, and it was like the High Priestess. Things are troubling your mind. Your mind is on overload, Sadge, and it's saying you need to get some clarity. And until you start releasing the negativity things in your life that are holding you down, the universe isn't going to sort of um, bring these new opportunities into you. So you're probably sitting there thinking, well, what's going to happen? You know, I can't see a future for me. I don't know what, what's next. You know, what's happening in my, in my love, love life? What's going to happen in my work life? And you're asking all these questions and you've, you've got your mind on overload. And it's like to say... Release the fears, release the um, prejudgments, trying to preempt things, and just go with the flow and allow things to start to uh, come out um, as and when the time is right. So you've got to declutter your mind, Sag. You've got to declutter your mind. So let's have a look what else is coming in. Yeah, and we've got the star. So. A prayer is being answered up there in the universe and it's saying don't give up the faith because I feel some of you are really um, on this downward spiral of um, thinking to yourself, well, nothing's happening, I can't see no movement, it's all a waste of time, you're very, very um, negative, negative, negative. But it's saying here, the highlighting the fact that something is going to be coming uh, into fruition for you. Something is coming towards you. So we've got something towards you. I don't feel that's like going away on this reading. Um, something is coming towards you. And what a beautiful card, the four of water. It's just saying here, all your skills and abilities, all the pearls of wisdom that you hold okay, uh, to hold on to, don't get emotional and don't get caught up and don't get uh, sorry, feeling sorry for yourself because it's saying you can ride the storm and your gifts and abilities will come to the surface sooner than you think. So this is, there's an undercurrent going on here, Sag, there's an undercurrent going on, things working behind the scenes and it's like saying, don't give up on your gifts and abilities because I feel like some of you have hit this sort of plateau of I'm never going to be able to do that again. I feel sporting, a very big sporting connection with some of you and like because the sporting and everything and all those activities have been put on hold, it's like to say when am I ever going to compete again? When am I ever going to be able to do this, this and this? And it's like really eating away with you but the universe is saying hang on to the faith, hang on to your skills Hang on to the pearls of wisdom because in time and not that too far away, something is going to be coming in for you. So let's just have a look at another message what the universe wants to get across to you then. What else have we got for Sag? This is quite interesting. Put your full focus on what you love. Okay, because if I look at this card, I just want to quickly show you this. You have one main talent, this massive pearl here that you've got your full focus on you have got other talents as well 
smaller ones that you sort of keep in the midst. But it's saying, keep your focus on the passion and the interest that you love, okay? Because uh, something magical is about to happen. That's interesting. So let's just carry on with this reading and just see what else comes out for you. Saggy, sag, sag. Saggy, sag, sag. Digging deep. Oh, wow. Release. Okay. Now this fits in lovely to this reading because this is your negative energy. Have a good cry. Grief is a doorway to your deepest self. Okay. So the universe is saying, they know this is how you are feeling. You are feeling really sad, down, thinking to yourself, will things ever come back to, you know, how I remember what the passions I love to do and it's just saying you've got to release these negative energies okay um allow those to go grieve yes what you miss but what you miss will come back okay because they're working on it here and they're telling you to focus hard on your gifts okay and yeah it is an emotional pull and you you know with everything that's going on so many people are feeling like this so let's just get another card from the universe how they see you how is sag looking to the universe this week okay and we've got this picture here and they are saying to you we know you feel like you're on a merry-go-round. We know you feel like you're on a carousel. You're on a horse that can't go anywhere. And you want to break free. Okay, like the horse wants to break free and the freedom. And then we've got this scenario here with, I also could see it like pulls you back to your childhood. Okay, and the Pinocchio image, I, I feel like, this is your negative, neg negative mindset of, I'm sick of the lies, I'm just getting fed lies, everything I hear on, on the news is lies and everything else, and you just spiral down into this negativity. And it's like the sense of a child standing watching a carousel and thinking, I would love to go and ride on there, but not being allowed to, okay? not being allowed to but it's saying here the universe is sending you this because your your restrictions okay in this um line of work that you can't do at this moment in time is going to start chipping away and your freedom will start to come back okay because i feel like something is going to be presented to you within the next month so your restrictions are going to be broken down. Someone is going to come to you and say, right, we're back on for doing this. I need you to partake in this. So you do get a sense of freedom back, which is a nice energy. So let's just get another card out for you, Sag. What else is going on for Sag? Yeah, Four of Earth, a beautiful card, which strengthens this freedom coming back to you and money there's an opportunity going to be coming in knocking your door within a month's time okay i want to go four four weeks time of your gifts and what you've what's been laid barren because i look at the the winter uh where the leaves have disappeared from the trees so you've had this resting period due to what's been going on but you've got to Get ready, Saj. You've got to get ready because it's coming in. It's coming in for the Sajis. Let's just have a look how you're feeling. Let's have a look at your inner psyche. What's um, your deepest thoughts and feelings within you at the moment? And it's galactic healer. Move forward with an open mind. So this is what the universe is trying to say and your inner psyche is trying to push to as well. You've got a shape shift. I also got shape shifting in here. You've got to adapt to your to the surroundings, which you have been, and you understand that, and that's why it's coming through from your inner self, your deep rooted inner psyche of 
yeah, okay, so I've got to shape shift with everything that's going on in the world. But it's saying here, move forward with an open mind. Have this belief that things are going to start to improve. And it, I just feel some of you haven't been able to do the passions that you love. And I feel sporting. There's a sporting connection here for some of you. So let's have a look what the animal spirit cards are saying for you, Sag. And we'll have a look what's going on with the animal spirits. And we have the firefly, which is the alchemical sign of air. And cancer had this as well. And then we have, wow, the cosmic egg. Okay, so you, you are the firefly. You are desperate for the communication. You are desperate for hearing, um, you know, what's going on. Can I ever get back to where things were? And it's like desperately trying to illuminate and put some uh, light on a dark subject. But then the cosmic egg comes in, okay? And this is protecting um, you. It's like the universe is trying to say, right, yes, you've had your, you know, you've had to, um, you've not been able to do the things that you love, okay? It's like, I look at this as like uh, your passions, your desires, and the snake is like the outside elements that have restricted that, okay? And the universe is saying, we know this, okay? You've been restricted. And the snake is portraying how you've been held within these limits. But let's just get a clarifier on that card. Okay, because it's the universe is highlighting it in the animal spirit cards that you're desperately trying to find some light in the darkness. They are trying to say, we're protecting your interests. We are protecting your gifts and abilities. They are still there. They're still alive. And yet yeah, the, the snake is constricting you, okay, that which is the world at the minute with how things are. So protecting you in a way as well, um, Saj. So, yeah, we've got temperance here. And this is, at this moment in time, you're trying to find a balance to work through this. Um, trying to just get some balance and holding there as well. And I look at the, the sun and the moon and it's like the dark and the light. And this is how you've been going, feeling the darkness, okay, and desperately trying to find the positive. So I want to say the moon is the negative, the sun is the positive. But can you see here, we've got the angel wings, spiritual um, protection around you. So it's saying here, even though you cannot see what is going on behind you, then you are being protected and um, I do feel you're going out of the darkness and you're holding on to the sun because the, the moon's been released here and you're dragging the sun back into your into your life. So I feel the message here for you, Sag, this week is just to be mindful that there, there is things moving behind the scenes, okay? Moving behind the scenes and you will see something coming in shortly. Um, I've, I've got, no, I don't feel like there's a romantic um, energy within this reading. I just feel it's more of a general reading for the lovely Sagittarius this week. So until next time, don't forget to check out your moon and rising signs because you could have additional messages there. But I'll look forward to reading to you next week. Take care, my lovelies. Bye then.